Hi, Leo. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is your reading for the spring, <laughs> as well as this week. Uh, so this is for March 21st through uh, March 28th. We're going into airy season. Good time to start things. It's spring. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. One-on-ones are available. All the information is below. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different um, layout. So the first card is gonna be where you're at. The second card is going to be um, what your challenge or obstacle or transformative thing is. And uh, th the third one will be how, how you're gonna get there or what the end result is. Okay, Leo, one, two, three, happy spring. You show up in your own reading, there you go. One, two, three. Where you're at is um, the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is a fascinating queen. My, one of my, one of the most interesting, probably the most interesting queen. So traditionally, the Queen of Swords is a woman of loss. She is um, uh, usually, generally, uh, this is the energy. So you could be a man, you know, you could be 14 for all I know, a woman of loss. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's a widow or a divorcee. She's ready to leave the past behind. That's the real key to her. She's ready to leave the past behind. She's ready to move forward. She's ready to move forward. And she's ready to move forward with her mind. You know, she's very, very clear thinking. And um, she takes no prisoners as well. She takes no prisoners. You know, and she doesn't suffer fools at all. So it, it's really about, she's interesting in that she's uh, feminine, but she, um, she has this certain masculine energy. She's like, no nonsense. This one is no nonsense. Okay, so that's where you're at. And then you show up in your own reading. Interesting. This is a lovely card. It's lovely. So this is about the union of body and mind. This is about the, you know, them combining. And it, what's interesting is, you know, here we have the lion with the tail between his legs. So this is like a taming in a way, but it's also, I always feel like, so this is the virgin and, you know, so pure of heart. Um, that's what a virgin is, is about. It's about being pure of heart, being pure of soul. So it has nothing to do with sex. Um, it, I, he's willingly opening his mouth for her because he has tremendous trust and loyalty to spirit, to spirit, right? And allows the softness to, um, to guide the strength. So it's really like being, allowing yourself to be guided by your heart, allowing yourself to be guided by, um, and to put power behind. Um, courage. Yeah, it's very courageous to allow yourself to be led. It's about being led. being led by the heart, being led by healing, being led by um, nurturing. So even though she's had a bit of a hard time, right? And is willing to leave the past behind, you know, you come at it, okay. You come at it from an intellectual place, but you know, with the intellect, actually leads you to is the heart and healing and nurturing. 
Mm. This is also about learning how to um, how to mother yourself. This is the mother too. This is um, learning how to mother yourself. Learning how to um, nurture oneself, to lick one's own wounds, to um, rely on your spirit and your soul to um, comfort you and nurture you and um, encourage and love and um, support. That's what it's about. Because this is, you're involving spirit here, involving the mind and the body. So sometimes we don't get what we need from other people, right? You need me to say that. <laughs> so your job or the challenge, I don't know if it's a challenge, maybe it is, is to really learn and um, become an expert in a way, this lion tamer, to be the loving mother to yourself that you need. And that's what's going to nurture you. That's what's going to nurture you. And the other thing, the other big message of the reading is that we have two queens. Queens symbolize patience. Queens symbolize patience. That's where they have their power. That's where their power comes from is through patience. Um, you know, it's a process. It's a process. And uh, it leads to tremendous strength. It leads to tremendous strength. There you go. There you go. It's, um, it's a very healing, nurturing reading. Very healing and nurturing. And that's what this spring can be about for you. Healing, nurturing, being one's own mother. Blessings to you. It was a beautiful, actually, it's a very beautiful, warm, kind reading. So allow it to be that and allow yourself to experience that. Blessings. If you want a one on one, all the information is below. I like, you know. <laughs> Don't you wish there was still disco music and there were still discos open? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Okay. Ain't a whole lamb. Talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in.